So just to, to discuss the ever-changing restaurant industry, we're joined by John Gordon, restaurant analyst and founder of Pacific Management Consulting Group. And Josh, what is happening here? Red Lobster Chili's closures. I mean, does this mean that the, the low-cost casual sit-down chains are sort of going to be a thing of the past? Or endless shrimp in America is a bad thing. <laughs> or both. Your call. Well, um, it's a little bit of all of the above. Uh, casual dining uh, restaurant operations have been struggling in the United States really for about the last 20 years. Um, the problems at Red Lobster, uh, you know, have been kind of legendary. They, they have been on a downward slope for the last 25 years, actually, um, uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, going back to when they were owned by the Darden organization, but but their uh, their downtick has been uh, fast and fierce. Uh, really, in the last uh, 10 years, after uh, Darden spun them off, they began paying. They began having to pay rent, mm -hmm. which they heretofore had not, um, and they had difficulty getting in a, a, a CEO after their longtime CEO retired. And then they, um, they uh, did have a acquisition by a, a, um, a, a, a seafood provider that didn't know how to run casual dining restaurants in the US. And then they did have absolutely a very difficult all you can eat seafood promotion that they actually lost money uh, uh, at. And uh, everything has been really downhill quickly since they have closed about 100 units in the last, well, since Monday, the best estimate is uh, about 100 units they've closed. Now, to be sure, Red Lobster is still open at another approximately um, 500 uh, units in the United States, but um, they have uh, basically taken uh, the, the worst hundred units in terms of cash flow and are closing them and liquidating them right now. Mm. Mm. You just think with inflation and, and COVID that the higher end places will be struggling, not the, not the cheaper, more casual places, but here we are, including fast food, just a Happy Meal, a, a Big Mac, Burger King, Wendy's, wherever you go, uh, those costs are going up as well. What's the reason that even our legendary fast food joints are, are jacking up the price? Well, sure, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, for example, McDonald's just struggled to get a uh, four for $5 promotion approved by its franchisees yesterday. And we, we should look to see that on uh, the airwaves and on digital waves uh, later in June. The reason is that uh, driven by the pandemic and driven by inflation, that restaurants felt, and and most importantly, because of how uh, prices that consumers have felt, that's the, that's the driving factor. After all, um, you know, consumers are experiencing price shock, and this is this is not happy talk by the industry. This is real talk that the that the industry recognizes that uh, restaurant prices. I think your graphic just showed it there just a moment ago, but since uh, whatever base that you want to compare to. I think that that slide right. was 2014. Well, uh, we, John, we generally are looking versus 2019. Well, well to pay our bills, base. we have to go to commercial break. But yeah. John Gordon, thanks so much <laughs> for your time, sir. We'll be back. Okay.